everyone. Someone's coming. Try to look expensive. <laughs> Physical currency. <laughs> oh, it's useless. We're worthless. What? Who said that? What happened to us? We used to be so valued. We were everywhere. Wallets, pockets, purses. Down the back of a dirty couch. Actually, that wasn't very nice. Are you talking to me? And now it's all tap and go, mobile pay. The other day I saw someone pay with their watch. Yeah, well, that's pretty common, actually. Getting rid of cash is the worst thing that could have ever happened to us. I'm sorry. As sad as it may be for these guys, those in the know reckon a society where cold hard cash is no longer of value will almost definitely be in our future. For a while now, the Reserve Bank of Australia has noticed that fewer Aussies are using the physical stuff and instead are swiping or tapping with cards or smart devices. It's led to a bunch of big banks shutting down branches and removing ATMs, because people aren't using them as much as they used to. And it's not just Australia. Many other countries are on their way to becoming cash-free. Now, some reckon COVID-19 may be bringing us closer to a cashless society. For starters, there's been a huge increase in online shopping, where famously you don't use physical currency. A recent report from PayPal found that since the pandemic started, more than 2.5 million Aussies started shopping via the internet for the first time. Then there's the dirty debate. Dirty? <laughs> How dare you? Actually, you are a bit woofy. Rude. When was the last time they cleaned you? While experts aren't exactly sure if you can catch COVID via cash, we do know notes and coins can get pretty germy as they get passed around from person to person. In fact, in some parts of China, they started sterilizing their money when the virus broke out. And around the world, many businesses have been encouraging electronic payments over notes and coins. There are other advantages to going cashless. Many say it'll help reduce crime by letting authorities track where money's going and stop people avoiding tax. It also makes converting money to different currencies a lot easier. But digital dollars also have their downside, especially for people who aren't as tech savvy or who live in areas where the internet isn't as reliable. And there are people who rely on cash like buskers and charities. Oh, and kids. While there are services that let you get digital pocket money, many banks have a minimum age for debit cards. Plus, some experts worry moving to a cashless society could leave our money vulnerable to cyber criminals. And that we will need to consider a backup so people can access their money if technology fails. So, while this stuff might one day be worthless, for now at least, cash is still very much of value. Well, at least you're in a museum. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, you're right. In fact, I'm probably worth more now than I ever was. Well, I don't know about that.